So now again we will try to look at the problem of solving closest pair points in two dimensional plane. Okay. So we will take one example here and I will draw some random points. Okay. So these are my random points. Okay. And now we try to solve the problem of closest pair of points. So what we do, we will try to find a divide and conquer based approach. So here, how can we divide the problem? So one way out is you have the points and then divide it into two parts set of n by two points each and have the middle element sort the points based on the x coordinate. Okay, so we will sort them out and then based on x coordinate and then take the middle element and draw a line x is equal to c from there okay and now you have set of n by 2 points to the left and n by 2 points to the right okay so we choose such a line which divides it into two halves okay where n by 2 are on the left side and n by 2 are on the right hand side now what happens is if we solve so in divide and conquer what happens you divide the problem okay so divide the problem into sub problems and then solve sub problem and then combine the result okay merge merge the result so this is what we need to do so i solve the closest pair for the left hand side solve the closest pair for the right hand side and then let's say delta one is the minimum closest pair of point in the left hand side and this is the distance okay this is three and delta 2 the closest pair of point on the right hand side let's say it is 4 now what we need to do let's say this was also a point okay so what we need to do is now we need to merge so closest pair on the left is distance 3 closest pair on the right hand it's distance 4 so for the combination when we are merging the result we can say that okay delta will be the minimum of delta 1 and delta 2 so is that correct we will say yes because the minimum on the left is 3 minimum on the right is 4 so overall minimum should be 3 that seems fine unless you see these two points okay so these are two distance apart so why this happened because we in the closest pair we never solved the problem for these two points in divide and conquer because they were on the other side of the they were on other sides or one was on the left side and the other was on the right hand side so you need to consider this as well okay this strip where some points might be very close okay and we need to take care of that so this is one very important point okay that you need to take care so how we take care of that we need to check and let's go to that part okay and in fact the figure is not given so I will draw it myself so you have okay delta 1 here the points are here and then delta 2 is the minimum distance here now you have to find the minimum in this strip okay so let us think so delta is minimum of delta 1 and delta 2 now what happens if a point is here just very close to this vertical line then for it to be lesser than closer than delta it can find points only in this strip of width delta okay if something is inside this it might find a point which is closer than delta but if, if some point is here some point is there we are sure because this x coordinate difference itself is greater than delta so your overall distance will be greater than delta so if here there is a point that strip should be that other point should be inside that strip similarly if i consider some point very close to this line then that other point which can be closer than delta should reside again here in the strip delta okay so this is a very important point that the those points for which we have to take care so those will reside inside the strip of delta on the left and delta on the right so in this part only you can 
find pairs of point which are closer so one point here and one point on the other side okay so let us call this strip left and strip right so if one point is on the strip left you can search for points on the strip right okay so now let's try to see if i have a point p x comma y okay so then what happens in this right part also where do i need to search so again applying concept like previous one if a point p x y is here then on the other side you can only find the points will be inside the y coordinate y plus delta and y minus delta okay so on this rectangle on this strip only it could be found and now it could only be found in this rectangle so this is x comma y so this will be y plus delta y minus delta because again if some point is there above y plus delta so y coordinates difference itself will be greater than delta so, and that cannot happen because we have to find a point which is closer than delta so now what will happen so we can find those closer points they will only reside inside this rectangle now one more question is how many such points maximum can be there and this is very important okay in this rectangle for a particular point p on the left sl strip how many points can be there inside this rectangle maximum and we will prove shortly that there can be no more than six such points that is beautiful so why because here the distance uh, here only we have to consider points which are greater than all the points inside this should be greater than delta apart isn't it so now what happens here the minimum distance i already know that minimum distance is delta on this side all the sides okay so now any two points which will reside here they will be greater than distance delta and maximum such points that you can have is these many so this one this is one okay this is the one so this is and this so i will take another color to make it much clearer so here you have p x y so this one this point these six point maximum i can have six points inside this rectangle which are delta apart okay you cannot have more than six such points so this helps us to make a o of n merge algorithm because here maximum you can have in this strip because in the problem itself I have n points so maximum in this strip also there can be n points and for each of the n point you just have to check the distance for 6 points so overall 6 n points will be there for which you have to check the distances okay and then this basically makes the merge operation O of n time okay so now the thing is how the algorithm works we will just try to see the pseudo code okay so let's try to see so what it does so closest pair of points is there and we have function closest pair we have the l is the left index r is the right index of the sorted array of points based on the x coordinate and if the size of that p array is the points is less than two then it means there is no distance closest distance one point is only there otherwise you find the middle point l plus r by 2 index and find the x coordinate of that then dl is the this is delta 1 closest pair for the left points and dr or delta 2 is the closest pair among the right hand side and delta will be the minimum among the so it's the minimum of delta 1 and delta 2 now what we do we select the points inside this strip of length delta okay so select ql is select delta so in the left hand side okay we know the delta now and qr is select candidates on the right hand side then what happens for each point here we again sort it based on y coordinate and we just search there can be maximum six points for each point here you find the distances there and then we have got three distance so delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 is the minimum distance inside this strip and then we find the minimum of the delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 and return that 
so this basically helps us find the closest pair okay so find the delta 1 was the closest pair in the left hand side delta 2 was on the right hand side and this in the middle strip there was delta 3 so minimum among them will be the closest pair so if tn is your time complexity for finding the closest pair so for the left hand side it would become tn by 2 for the right hand side again it would become tn by 2 and the merge operation finding the minimum will be o of n so this will become tn is equal to t tn by 2 plus o of n and if you solve this you will get tn is o of n log of n or theta of n log n so this is the algorithm for you to find the closest pair and in fact you can see for the one dimensional case also we had theta of n log n and here also you can do it in theta of n log n so i hope you understand this thanks a lot